You'll have to forgive me if this speech is not as eloquent as it could be. Please pay no attention if I stumble over a word or misuse a turn of phrase. You see, English is not my first language. It's not that I was born in a foreign country or raised in some exotic culture. No, nothing like that. Rather, my first language is music, and I've spent my whole life doing Some of you may find this absurd. Music isn't a language, you say to yourself. A language has syntax, grammar, rules, conventions, meaning. A language can be translated. Music, why, music just is. But so seems any language for it to grow on here. Listen, if you get the chance, to the sharp syncopations of Spanish or the undulating tonal intricacies of Mandarin and Chinese. Apart from the odd recognized word, these languages so rich in meaning and native in thought to untold billions of people seem to be uninitiated only melodies, cadences, series of tones. And just like a student of any foreign language, every trained musician spends years studying music's grammar and pronunciation, its vocabulary and its syntax, we recite its seven-letter alphabet, we conjugate and reconjugate rhythms and keys, we study carefully the difference between Duke Ellington's slam poetry and Bach's crystalline blank verse. We first learn to pronounce, then to phrase, then to carry on conversations for hours on end. And just as any language has its curious idioms and endemic words, there are terms of phrase that will never quite be natural to a non-native speaker. Encountering these, most give up. But some are born with music in the deepest primal recesses of our brains, lying dormant since long before we've spoken our first words. It may sound strange, but I know I speak music. A long time ago, as the story says, all of creation spoke one language. It was a strong language, a powerful language, and everything under the sun was united in it. The rocks, the trees, the oceans, the sky, the birds and the beasts and the fish and the people of every nation rejoiced together in one native tongue, sharing their stories without any mistranslations. We were united, and so we built a tower to the heavens that we might speak with God as well. God in his wrath struck it down, and hereafter condemned each of us to speak a different language, that we may never reach toward him together again. Now we speak Hebrew and Arabic, we speak Hindi and Urdu, we speak German and English and French. Those truths we found together at the beginning of time have been spread, spread across the earth. Separated into these languages, we can never quite translate. We do each speak a different language, you know. As much as you may think you understand your neighbor, as ardently as you believe that you and he share a native tongue, from one mind to the next, there will always be translation errors. Turns a phrase you will never master that he has understood almost from birth. Maybe he speaks in facts and figures. In the irrational numbers and oscillating graphs that outline the shape and trajectory of each proton and electron since the beginning of time. Maybe you speak in body language, in the subtle hesitancies we all exhibit when we try to connect with each other, in the movements that none of us intend but only you can understand. Maybe he speaks in art and you in science, he in space and you in time. Speak that language, but music is a force that touches.
touches each of us, that awakens every truth that the universe has to offer, if we only learn how to open our ears and listen. I wish I could speak in the slow, gliding circles of a hawk in the afternoon sky. I wish I could speak the small, intimate busyness of tiny life under the root of a tree. I wish I could learn every nuance of the chattering of squirrels or the cold ancient light of the long dead stars. If only I knew their stories. If I could translate what I know they have to tell, we could break down these barriers between us and them and every living thing. And maybe then we would understand why and how all of this came to be and where it's going once every language we've ever known falls to you. We could finally share this universe as equals instead of fighting this everlasting culture war between everything and nothing in ourselves. But I can't speak these languages, try as I might to learn and understand. There will always be translation errors, words the human mind can never quite understand. No, I speak only music and English, but I'll try my best to translate.